Let's dig into a couple of tools that have similar features, knowledge cards and photos. When you fly to a location near the upper right corner, you'll see a knowledge card. It'll have a little bookmarks icon on it. If you click that icon, you can save the bookmark. If you click on the knowledge card, you'll get some information about that location and a slideshow about that location. If I click on this left arrow in the upper left corner, I can get out of the knowledge card. Sometimes at the bottom of the knowledge card, you'll see something that says points of interest. If you click on that, it'll take you to additional points of interest near your location. If you click on the paper airplane icon, you'll fly to that location. And if you click the right arrow on the knowledge card, you can see additional points of interest. And if you click on the knowledge card for that point of interest, it will take you to a slideshow and additional information about that point of interest. So that's knowledge cards. Now we'll look at photos. So I've gone back to my location. I click on the menu. And by photos, there's an on-off switch. I'll turn photos on. And now I'll see a bunch of little thumbnails on my location. If I click on a thumbnail, I'll either see just one single image or a slideshow about that point of interest in my location. So in this case, it's a 20 slide slideshow. So I can click through the slideshow. When I'm done with the slideshow, I'm going to click refresh and it'll take me back to Google Earth and eventually it will take me back to my location with all of those thumbnails and I can click on a different thumbnail to see another slideshow. So I'll click refresh to get out of the slideshow. So that is photos. I have found that uh, I'm not crazy about the photos feature. It's a little bit distracting. So typically when I'm using Google Earth for Chrome, I will turn off photos.